I've been waiting for the rain to stop so that I could come outside and show you what we're going to do today. I thought that we could make a little garden. Just a small one if you don't have a lot of space. So what things do we need to plant our seeds in? We need some soil. I've got a bag of soil down here. You can't see it. I'm going to put the soil into my pot. Are you ready? I'm going to fill my pot with soil using my trowel, like a little spade. I'm filling my pot right up to the top. Do you think I need a bit more? I do. More soil in my pot, filling it up. I think that should do. Then I've got a second smaller pot. It's a bit of a fairy garden. It's going to sit on top. I'm going to fill that one too. Lots of soil to plant my seeds. Oh, the fairy door opened. Oh dear, let's shut it. Still need a little bit more. Let's fill it all the way to almost the top. I thought that on this level, we could put some grass. So I'm going to plant some grass on here. Can you see, let's just turn that down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I've got some grass seed. I'm going to sprinkle my grass seed all over the soil. And then I'm going to put a little bit of soil back on top so that it can grow and also stop the birds eating it because birds love to eat seeds. I'm tucking it in. What does it need next? I think it needs some water. I've got my flamingo watering can. I'm going to give it a drink. Watering the grass seeds. That's my first pot. I had a second one, the one with the fairy door. I'm going to sit this on top. And in here, I'm going to put some pretty wildflowers. I'm going to put those on top too. Sprinkle them all over. Very pretty. A little bit of soil on top. that with my hands because it's a bit clumpy. Pat it with my trowel. And next, what does it need? It needs some water to water my wildflower seeds. So this is the start of my mini garden. I've got two pots. One with grass seed and one with wild flowers. I'm going to go and have a look around my garden to see what my other mini gardens are like to give me some ideas to see what else I could put in. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go for a walk and see what we can find in my garden. Here's a mini garden I made earlier. It looks like it needs a bit of work because it's a bit overgrown. But here we've got a little house and some stones. All sorts could be hiding under there. It makes a nice habitat for some insects. Oh, look, there's a shell. I think we must have found that at the beach. Is there anything under there? Right, what else have we got in my garden? Oh, look, there's another one. Here's another mini garden. This one's got a house as well. And a bird. Some grass. 
and some plants and rocks. I put my mini garden over here next to the fairy because it's a fairy garden. I need to have a look and see if there's any fun little bits we can put inside to make it a really exciting garden. Let's go and have a look, see what I can find. Right, I've had a good look around my house and I couldn't find any fairies for my garden, but I did find some animals. So, I found a sheep. I found a cow. And I found a horse. Nay. Why don't you have a look around your house and see what you can put in your garden too? Now that I've finished making my little garden, I need to wait for it to grow. How can I help it grow? It needs lots of water or rain and it also needs some sunshine. We'll come back soon and see how it's getting on. And I'm going to put some ideas at the end of this video in case you want to make one at home too. Just ask your grown-ups for some help. Bye!